I can't believe I fucked you over like this. Whatever. I hope you can find somewhere else. Dude, to go to hell. Don't bring personal stuff into this. Hope we can still be friends. Bullshit. You know what? You're right. You were a good friend. Were? Yeah. If friends betrayed each other all the time, then you want friend of the fucking year. But now you're dead. So go fuck yourself. Come on, we're perfect together. And I think it's time to take the next step in our relationship. Let's do it. Hey, I'm going over to Craig's tonight. All right, I'll call up one of my girlfriends. I need a girl's night anyway. All right, that's fine. See you tonight, babe. See you later. Samantha moved in together. Really? You don't think that's too fast? No, nah, actually, our relationship's been actually going better since she's moved in. Well, I'm happy for you guys. Thanks, man. Cheers, man. So, uh, what do you think about this promotion opportunity at work? Uh, well, I mean, they're not just going to hand that to anyone. You got to bring a lot. Some would say a miracle. Yeah, it'd be nice though. Been stuck in the same spot for two years now. Try three for me. Man. What if we both got promoted to the project leader position? You mean like co project leads? Well, yeah. To be honest, that sounds great, man. Oh, shit. I gotta go. What, you got a curfew now or something? Well, I told Samantha I'd be home an hour ago. What the fuck, man? Make sure you check your purse for your testicles when you get home. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. What are you complaining about, man? Your life at home seems to be perfect. Your buddy Craig seems to be pretty cool. Why are you even tell me this boring story? Man, just go home. Ain't nobody got patience anymore. I don't even know why I'm telling you this story in the first place. And you're still complaining. Go ahead, go on with your story. All right. Well, you'd think everything would be perfect. Hell, it even was. You know I love you, right? Yeah, I love you too. Can I tell you something? Of course. This food is god awful. <laughs> I know. I tried though. How did you even make this? Honestly, I just put something together. Bread's good though. Yeah, seems to be the only thing I didn't make. I got something to ask you though. Champagne. And I'm calling 
Thanks for carpooling today, man. I have no idea who slashed my tires. Probably those damn kids in your neighborhood. Probably right, man. I got an idea. They're just kids, dude. We can't do shit to them. Oh, you damn psychopath. I mean about the promotion. What if we both go for it? Really? Yeah, I mean, instead of being the traditional one person, let's make history for the first time, make it a team that gets promoted. If we do this, it has to be great, right? What if they only promote one of us? Well, and then at least we tried. And in the end, this can just bring positive motivation towards at least one of our careers. Wow, dude, holy shit. I think we're done. We did it. You really think this is gonna work? 100%. This is it. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and head out, get to bed, so we can get up and early, knock out any tweaks and ends. We gotta get to this, and we're gonna get this promotion and presentation knocked out of the park. The story's not so boring now, huh? I guess not. Well. Why did your girlfriend get all stiff after you uh, proposed to her? And that right there is the magic question I had stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Until I received my answer when I made it home. Hello? I've been freaking out ever since I said yes to him. This happens to everyone, Sam. I know, but it shouldn't be hitting me this hard. Sam, you got a good guy. So what if he hangs out with his work friends a lot? It's not just that, though. Then what is it? When I look at this ring, I'm supposed to feel happiness, right? So all I can do is think of the things that pisses me off about him. Don't do this, Sam. You do this every time things get serious with a guy. You find a reason to leave. Whether it's he leaves the toilet seat up, or he doesn't say you're pretty enough, or he wants to hang out with his guy friends one day out of the month. The problem isn't him. It's you. Go, go. You're supposed to be helping me. Not if you go down the same fucking road every time you're in a relationship. I just feel like I seriously can't believe you're thinking about leaving Chuck. You're freaking pathetic, man. Honestly. Go to hell. Oh hey. What was all that about? Just talking to Becca. You don't want to get married? No, it's just. Is it me? No, but don't forget. Because if it's me, tell me what I need to do. Please stop yelling. Is it the timing? I mean, we can wait to get married. No, babe, it's fine. It obviously isn't fine. What are you scared of? A serious commitment? No, I'm just... I mean, all I've ever done is try to give you all the love in this world. I've treated you like a fucking queen. It's just me. I don't... It's just you. So how long are you going to wait to tell me this? How long have you been feeling like this? Why'd you even let it get this far? But fuck it, man. I'm going out. Damn, man. Sounds like you turned into a hothead. Not really. I just, I don't know. I guess the fact that it was my longest relationship, I was just pissed off that it was failing. Well, what happened next? How'd you get fired? I never told you I got fired. Well, you got a box with a bunch of random stuff in it. Anybody's seen a movie or a television show, tell you got fired. So you'd think. Well, tell me. I missed the presentation. After all that work? Not exactly. Yeah, 12 o'clock, man. Sounds great. 
All right, I'll send a memo to the bosses at that time then. All right, cool, it's fine. You excited? Oh, you have no idea, man. All right, man. See you tomorrow. Cool. And in conclusion, compared to these two years right here, this year I think we can skyrocket our uh, goals and really exceed what we got going for us. Well, Craig, that was a fine presentation. We're going to be happy to have you as the production team here. Oh, so you finally showed up for your own presentation. Craig here is going to be the new production team leader. You, however, can't be relied on, obviously, so I'm going to need you to pack up your shit and leave. So I eventually got into a fight with Craig, did some pretty petty things to some people, I guess you could say he didn't deserve it, got a text from Samantha that said she's leaving me, so now I'm just waiting for her to get her things from my house. Yeah man, I feel you. What about you? You got anything you want to talk about? Hell no, I'll talk about my personal shit with strangers. Wow. But I will tell you this. Even though your life feels like it's crumbling You're now. You're not helping. But are you happy? What? Are you happy? I thought it was pretty clear that my life's going to hell. But are you happy? I mean, I guess I'm happy I don't have to go back to that shit show of a job. There you go. That's one thing. What else is there? Well, I'm happy to be alive. Okay. A little cheesy, but I guess that'll work. I guess. Well, you need to be sure. You need to appreciate the little things in life. The little things? Yeah, the little things, like making a bad dinner and being proud of it. Smashing things for no reason. Finding happiness, forgiveness, and maybe even love. No, you're starting to sound cheesy. Well, call it, call it what you will. But if you don't enjoy the little things, the regret will eventually take over your life. Starting to sound a little stupid. Maybe, but just try it out. Think about it. Matter of fact, I see some luck coming your way. I'll think about it. Thank you for tuning in. Now, these are the numbers Fuck, for the North like Carolina Lottery. First number, we have one. Oh shit. All right. First Second number, number we have 22. Double deuce. No way. This is, okay. There's no way. This is a fluke. For the third number, we got 37. <laughs> no. No Following way. that, we have 49, Holy shit. Dude, no. 61, no. 13. I'll be fucking damned. Alright, I'll send out a memo to the bosses at that time then. Hell no, I won't talk about my personal shit with the strangers. Hello? Like, why would you do that? <laughs>